the truth is, is my honest opinion, you know, for a lot of years, I've been doing this for 15 years, for a lot of years, independent and alternative media used to call out mainstream media for being in fear driven, you know, constantly riling people up through drama and sensationalism and fear tactics and all this kind of crap. And that they were stoking division and polarization. That was the critique of, of, in the, of mainstream media for so long. Over the last five years, I've watched independent and alternative media for the most part, almost all of the brands out there, including the individual influencers, degrade into the exact same behavior where they are no different than the independent or sorry, the mainstream media that's been using division, polarity, you know, fear, sensationalism to rile people up. And what I've noticed is that the, the sort of independent field now and, and sort of the alternative field is just as in survival mode, panicking about the state of the world and that the sky is always falling to the same degree as the folks who are too tied into mainstream media. And so I think there's a much larger discussion, a much larger problem that's going on here. But this is why we've always focused on that sense of neutrality, which is to say like, hey, let's just stay open. Let's stay curious, but let's see where the truth takes us and let's not get riled up in the fear and the physiology, which is why we always kind of had that, um, that thing on the website where it would be like, hey, you know, sense into your body, take a moment to, to connect to the present moment and then engage with the content. Right. There's a lot to unpack and what's going on there. But the point is, is that there's a sense of we don't want to be taken over by our survival physiology all the time when we're orienting to what's going on in the world. And if we are, that's OK, but it's a fantastic feedback mechanism for how we are currently orienting to the world.